Hey everybody, Stu on the grill. Not only the grill, but my new grill. Check this out, look at this. I'm here in Connecticut. That's a, a local uh, artist that I had that did this. I got my Weber grill built in and you know what's really exciting? Check this temperature out. This is nearly 700 degrees. We make these at the store right here. Really popular in the summer, a kebab. We put some chicken on it, vegetables, this one has beef and vegetables. This one is solo vegetables right here. We also have these delicious lobster tails right here. As you can see, here's what we did was cut the shell like that, right? We pulled out the meat of the lobster and then you go lay that over the top like that. Look how beautiful that looks. Now, one of the things we're gonna do is dunk it in some garlic and a butter. So I have a nice one of our Stu Leonard's uh, whipped butter. I put the fresh uh, garlic in there like that. And then uh, king of steaks right here is a ribeye right here. You can see this will feed a father and family. And then my daughter Blake's gonna pop in in a little while and we're gonna talk about some of the ones. Beautiful, and look at the nice bottle that's in. I got the grill red hot. I'm gonna put everything on. I'll show you in a minute what it all looks like. Okay guys, I, I put the, as you can see, that beautiful tomahawk on the, on the grill. Time and temperature are always the two things that are variables you gotta figure out on your own. The key thing you wanna do here is leave this there about five minutes aside, right? Just get the grill marks on it for five minutes, flip it over, get another five minutes, and I'm gonna move it over to a cooler side of the grill, and I'll let it probably just stay there for about 10 minutes. This is really good corn right here little food hack here, but I put that in the microwave for six minutes before I bring it out to the grill. And if you could feel this right now, the kernels are already soft. I have this nice little uh, olive oil sprayer. And what I did is I, I, I put olive oil in all of them. Okay guys, we got a little bit of flame in here right now because I did use olive oil on top of it with some, um, with some salt and pepper. So let's see. Okay, little too much done there, but that's a, woo, look at that. I'm leaving the cover open right now. And I'm turning down the heat. This is probably done a little more than I would want it to be, but shh, don't tell anybody, that'll be the downside, okay? So anyway, the inside of this is like super rare right now. We want to almost like roast that right now. And then what I'm gonna do is keep feeling the top of it and make sure that that feels like the inside of my palm. Check out the garlic butter right here. And you wanna know what's nice at Stu's? We, we go to Gilroy, California and get the best garlic. It's called the garlic capital of the world. We've been out there. When you go out there, it, just, it smells like garlic. I'm just gonna put on the kebabs here. These are my marinated chickens right here. These are my marinated beef ones right here. Plain chicken right here for people that don't want any marinade. And then here are these veggie ones. Now, these you gotta watch, okay? Because those have to be a slow cook right there. The last thing we're gonna do is put these lobster tails on. They're four ounces each. They're usually about a minute an ounce. And then you know what we're gonna do? Dip them in that garlic butter. Oh boy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna generously apply this. You gotta be used to garlic if you come to my house. I don't care about breath. Okay, because it uh, goes with the territory. My wife turned me on to garlic. She's from California. And then I also have this wonderful uh, beef burgundy marinated that we have. There's burgundy wine in there. They put some vegetables in there, some cracked pepper. There's a little bit of uh, barbecue sauce that they make up at the store. Ooh, that's really good. I put some garlic butter, by the way, on even the corn, okay? So look at this, we're starting to get some nice color on the corn. Kebabs over here, you can see. Nice, you gotta turn those a little bit. The grill's on about 350, by the way. You can see the meat's not done yet. Chicken will cook quicker than the meat. Look at, is that beautiful, look at that. I love grill marks. Hey, we've been at this 30 minutes right now, and check this out right here. Okay. Our corn, delicious. Look at the char marks coming out on that. You could tell that our um, veggies are getting a little more cooked right there. I just put the lobster tails out there. They don't need long. And the steak is still over there. It's almost like in an oven just cooking right now. Okay, I'm gonna put a little of the, the burgundy sauce on. 
And you know, you want to give it like a second dose. The first, the, 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 the sauce at the beginning sort of burned off a little bit. And this just will add flavor to your kebab. I'm pretty generous with this stuff. It's really good. People love this. Come on over and look at the creation right here. Look what we have, okay? We got all our marinade kebabs. We got our plain kebabs right here. I moved the steak back down. It still was a little soft. And the lobster tails are just gonna take a few more minutes. But right now what I'm gonna do, take the steak off. We're gonna cut it and see what it looks like inside. Wow, look at that. It looks cooked perfect for our family right there. That is the king of steaks. And I have my wife, Cam, here. I have my daughter, Blake, right here, and her youngest son, Axel. Yeah. So this is like Father's Day. Now, Blake is our sommelier. Well, Kim's a sommelier, too. But um, the one thing you want to do, look at how great this looks. Is this like, I'm happy. I'm a father, and I'm happy right now. Now, Blake, you wanna just tell us about wine right here? Absolutely. So, whether you're gifting wine for your dad, or grandfather in this case, or you're uh, simply just wanting to enjoy it with uh, whatever you're cooking up. So, you know, one of the, you know, a great, if you're looking for just a delicious rosé, this Valet de Pont is a delicious Provence rosé. Under $20. I actually love the screw cap. It makes it really easy to open right up. Now, this right here, this Hidden Vines, this is a Napa Cabernet, and this is absolutely delicious. So if your dad loves Cabernet, you have to well, try this Does bottle. that go great with this tomahawk? And it goes great with tomahawk. But, you know, this wine was made by a top Napa producer and um, it really just over delivers for under $20. Whenever someone says they like Napa Cab, I have them try this, it's really good. Bourbon is so popular and uh, you know, recently in uh, one of our stores, the founder of Angels MV West stopped by. This one's actually finished in port barrel, so it's gonna give the finish a little bit of oh, a smoother, love love a smoother uh, taste. But him and his father started the distillery together and now his sons work there. So I just like that it was a family story. So for my Father's Day, this could be great right here, okay? Look, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> he's teething. <laughs> you know what else we did? We did add a nice big Greek salad in there, didn't we? Yes. We're using Wisconsin feta cheese. The Wisconsin is... Anyway, I'm happy, okay? Hey, and, oh, you got the Greek salad. Ah, so gorgeous. Everybody. And in case any of you are wondering, just with my arm right here, I'm sort of lefty stew right now on the grill because, um, you know, I tore my tricep in my arm. Thank you all the customers that have been asking me. If you have any advice or tips or anything that you use when you're cooking on the grill, tweet me, you know, tell me about it. You guys have, I know, a lot of good ideas, a lot of, a lot of lessons that have been handed down over generations and tweet me, let me know, okay? Thanks. Happy Father!